Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Laravel e-commerce image gallery plugin. Now this particular plugin allows the store admin to add and manage images into various galleries and galleries into various groups according to the requirement there. This is the best image gallery module for the biggest store platform and in this module everything is configured by the admin. The admin also has the option to set the style for the opening and the closing of the images. Apart from that, the image gallery appears at the storefront where the customers can see a view galleries button. Tapping that up brings up all of the image galleries created by the admin and the customers can access any of the image galleries as per the requirement and can access the images within those galleries as well. They can play and pause uh, the slideshow as well or they can cancel out the slideshow as per the requirement there. Uh, apart from that, the admin can manage images, galleries and gallery groups as per the requirement there. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow at the customer's end and then I'll be showing you the admin initial configuration for the plugin and, the how, and how the admin can manage the images, galleries and gallery groups as per the requirement there in the admin backend panel. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I'm at this, uh, the storefront and here we have this web galleries button uh, being displayed to the customers. So as a customer, I can view the galleries there by tapping on the web galleries button. And this will bring up the complete list of galleries that have been created by the admin from the admin backend panel. Here we can see the uh, gallery name, gallery name, and the contents there. So here in the image gallery that you are seeing, the first one it has two images, and the image gallery two it has also two images within the same. So if I want to check the images that are within these uh, galleries, what I can do is I can tap on any of the galleries there. For example, I'll tap on the gallery. And this will bring up the contents of the gallery. So here we are having two different images, a watch and a landscape. Uh, as you can see here, a portrait uh, is there and a watch image is there. Now if I want to view it in a bigger uh, way, I can tap on the image there. And here you can see we have the portrait image name as well visible to the customers there. I can shuffle it out or I can tap on the next button to view the next image. If I want, I can play the slideshow by tapping here on the play button and the particular slideshow would uh, start playing up as you can see here uh, on your screens there. To stop a slideshow, I can tap here on the stop button to cancel it out. I can tap here on the cancel button. To go back to the galleries, I can tap here on the back button then we'll be able to see the galleries there. So this was the workflow at the customer's end. Now let's hop on to the admin backend panel and let's see how the admin would be able to make the initial configuration settings for the image gallery and how the admin would be able to manage images, galleries and gallery groups as per the requirement there. For that, we'll be logging into the admin backend panel of the Bagisto there by entering the email and the password and tapping on the sign in button thereafter. Now after the successful installation of this particular plugin, you will find one image gallery option here on the side panel from where you will be able to manage the images, manage galleries and manage groups. Uh, but before going through these options, let's uh, see the initial configuration settings for the uh, image gallery itself. So for that, we have to go to the configure option on the bottom left hand corner and that would bring up this particular section uh, for the image gallery where we have the gallery settings. So here you have to enable the image gallery to be visible on the storefront. So if I go to the home page here, for example, you can see this web galleries uh, button option is available there. So uh, to enable this particular button here uh, for the customers on the storefront, what you need to do is you need to enable this particular option. That's the image gallery visible as enabled. Uh, then we have the opening effect. You can choose between uh, fade and elastic as per your own requirement. You can choose the closing effect as fade or elastic. You can set up to display the caption of the image there as well. And you can choose the type of the caption, how it should be displayed, whether it should be float inside, outside or over the image itself. Float and O works with the position bottom uh, for the caption uh, bottom itself, not for the top one. Then we have the background, you can choose between the light background or the dark background for the images there. 
you can choose whether it should be cyclic or not you can set the interval and the interval time should be in numeric value itself then we have the border if you want to show the border there on the images then you can choose it as a yes option then you can choose to show the slide count there you can choose to show the controls there for playing the slideshow there stopping the slide slow and maximizing the images there as well on the uh, image gallery section on that you're viewing here uh, when you're going to view galleries and you're opening a particular gallery there at that very moment there itself so this was the initial configuration settings and then you need to tap here on the save button to save the initial configuration settings then coming to the image gallery part here you can manage the images galleries and the groups uh, under the manage images you will be able to add the images for your galleries that you want to create so first you have to add the images to add an image what you need to do is you need to tap here on the add image button for an already added image you can edit that up or you can delete that particular image as well for example if i tap here on the edit button for the what image uh, we'll be able to see the uh, different uh, details that we have set up so here we have set the image title the description uh, this description is visible on whenever the mouse hovers on the image on the uh, within the image uh, gallery there the sort out of the Im image and the status as enabled so for example if you want to uh, want to add an image here you will have to tap here on the add image button then we need to set up the details here so let's set it as uh, watch to description let's set it as watch to image let's set the sort order as three let's uh, select the image for example i'll just choose the image from my desktop screen from my local system there so i'll just go to my desktop i'll just scroll down for the image there i'll choose this particular image I'll set the status as enabled and I'll tap here on the save image button thereafter. And you can see that the image has been saved here uh, within the manage images. Now coming to the manage gallery, you can create multiple galleries as per your own requirement and those galleries would be visible under the view gallery section. So here you can see that we had created two different uh, galleries there, uh, the image gallery and the image gallery 2, image gallery and the image gallery 2. Uh, so for example I want to add an image add a new gallery what I need to do is I need to tap here on the add gallery button then we need to set up the gallery title the code set the status as enabled and then uh, under the gallery image so here we have two sections the gallery and the gallery image under the gallery we will be setting up the configuration for the gallery like the gallery title the gallery code uh, its status and under the gallery image we will be choosing the images that would be available within the particular gallery so here you can see that now we are able to see three different images the one that we had uploaded the watch to as well so for example if i go to the manage gallery section and i edit any of the galleries there so here you can see that i set the image title uh, gallery uh, title as image gallery 2 the gallery code our status is enabled let's select this to uh, watch as well and let's update the gallery there itself so likewise you can update the gallery there right then we have the manage groups and the manage groups will be able to manage the different groups so to add a particular group we have to tap here on the add group button we have to set the group code uh, test for example we'll set it as test we'll set it as enabled we'll choose the galleries within the particular group and we'll tap here on the save group thereafter and you can see that the particular group has been saved so depending upon the number of galleries that you've created uh, within this particular section uh, and the images uh, added within each of the galleries the particular images would be visible under the uh, particular galleries that you've created at the storefront there so that's how this particular plugin allows the store admin to add and manage images into various galleries and galleries into various groups according to the requirement and uh, everything is configured by the admin and the admin has the option to set the style for the opening and the closing of the images in the initial configuration settings uh, for the image gallery and apart from that uh, 
The image gallery appears at the storefront where the customers can see a view galleries button and tapping up uh, tapping that up brings up all of the image galleries created by the admin and the customers can access any of the galleries as per their requirements there. So yes, that was much about the Laravel e-commerce image gallery plugin and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements regarding the same, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of bagisto.com or you can raise a ticket at bagisto.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.